This is the Wright Bus Hydroliner, the world's first double-decker hydrogen fuel cell bus. Although Wright Bus built its first zero-emission electric vehicle over 20 years ago, they now recognise the industry is going through nothing short of a low-carbon revolution. In terms of the industry, the shift from uh, diesel Euro 6 to zero emission hydrogen fuel cell is probably the largest technological shift in the industry um, since we moved from the horse and cart um, to, to the bus. And if we look at 2021, 70% uh, of what we built was diesel. This year, 2022, 70% of what we build will be zero emissions. So that's a sea change in our industry. Right Bus haven't just taken a diesel bus and adapted it to run on hydrogen, they've redesigned the vehicle from the ground up. The hydroliners are modular, lightweight, highly efficient and are fully integrated and reliable systems. The Advanced Propulsion Centre provided vital funding to this extensive design, test and build process. Creating these lighter structures um, is massively important within the company. We're designing them as light as possible to get better fuel economy, carry more passengers but we're putting more things on them, so it's a massive challenge. It's critical that we get it right at the beginning of the design phase before anything is built. It's a massive undertaking. It requires a lot of manpower. Um, massive teams have been working on this for months on end, and without that funding, it wouldn't have been possible. The Advanced Propulsion Centre also provided funding to support the development of a single-deck hydrogen fuel cell concept demonstrator and test vehicle. Both projects are already delivering a strong return on investment. It allowed us to produce a prototype vehicle a year to a year and a half earlier than we would have been able to done without the funding. Uh, we now have orders on our books for a significant number of, uh, of single deck fuel cell vehicles that we probably wouldn't have got had it not been for the technology demonstrator behind us. It, it's been critical. It's been absolutely critical. We actually, uh, believe it or not, have customers on site today from Germany who are looking at single deck hydrogen buses for Cologne. And we are also looking at projects in Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong and Australia. So this is going to be a growth of export for UK and UK supply chain, all underpinned by APC funding. The UK has some world leading hydrogen technology, but keeping that lead is going to need supportive government policy, investment in infrastructure and industry confidence to build the scale needed to become globally competitive. I think it's vital, it is absolutely vital that uh, we are ahead of the curve in terms of building up a hydrogen economy. Effectively, the APC partnership is raising both the chicken and the egg in that we're getting the vehicle and we're also developing the uh, refueling uh, ecosystem alongside it as well, which is one of the key challenges within the industry. When it comes to hydrogen, uh, we can lead the world with that, uh, should our strategies and funding models be adapted to suit. Five cities in the British Isles are already operating right bus hydrogen buses. As the economies of scale start to deliver results, it's likely we'll see many more hydrogen fleets in the months and years ahead. We have buses in Aberdeen, in Birmingham, in London, in Belfast and Dublin. And those buses now have covered more than a million miles and saved 1,600 tonnes of CO2.